In nine days, we, the American citizens, will go to the poll to decide will we continue to move forward or will we go backwards. I am concerned that people do not understand that President Obama is sending this country in the right direction. You see, I believe that American dreams should be attainable for all. There's a saying that says, to whom much is given, much is required. And I always add, expect it. Four years ago, Senator Obama asked us to take a journey with him. He asked us to entrust him to move this country forward. I think we have forgotten about our commitment to the campaign, our commitment to our president about moving this country forward. No, everything isn't perfect, but are we headed in the right direction? Yes. Are we better off than four years ago? Yes. So this election is a decision that we must make. Do we want to keep moving forward or do we want to go backwards? You see, Governor Romney has already told us what he thinks about us. The 47% that he says that feels a sense of entitlement. The 47% that he says do not want to take responsibility. Well, Governor Romney, I'm a part of that 47%. The 47% of Americans are those Americans who are working hard, who are trying to send their kids to school, who believes that American dreams should be attainable to all. The 47% is, is all of us. And so today I'm coming as part of that 47% as part of that dream that Dr. King had, as part of the hope that President Obama campaigned about, that he took in the White House to say that we will stand with President Obama on November the 6th, understanding that we are headed in the right direction, understanding that change doesn't happen from the bo bottom, from the top to the bottom, but the bottom to the top understanding that this is the most important election because of what could happen, because what is at stake. You know, I have had sleepless nights thinking about what could happen if we do not make the right decisions. President Obama has brought so much hope to this country, but he has changed the dialogue also in Washington, D.C. You see, the American dream is slipping away from a lot of us. Every child should have the hope that if they go to school, that they will be able to go to college. Every parent, when they get older, should know that the government and that, will, that they will have a sense of security. Every American citizen should not worry about being able to pay their bills or making a decision to pay for their medication. And those who are working, who are earning a little bit more, I believe that they understand that they can pay a little bit more. You know, there's a saying that says, to whom much is given, much is expected and required. So today I ask that we do, we who had the energy four years ago to knock on doors, to make phone calls, to co contribute to the campaign, I ask in these nine days that we recommit to our president. You see, President Obama said that when he got into the White House, he would work for us every day. He has done his job. And I come as just an average citizen who wants to remind all of us that we must do our job in these next nine days. What can you do to help the Obama campaign? Can you make a phone? Can you make phone calls? Can you donate? Can you knock on doors? Can you call your closest friends and ensure that they're going to the polls? This election is not about one man's vision. This election is about the direction of our country. And will there be a middle class? You see, this election is more about us than about President Obama. It's about the least and the lost. It's about those who are trying to attain the American dream and those who are on the break of giving up. See, there is still hope in this country and there is still work for President Obama to do. So if we all 
band together, hold hands and vote. Vote for this change that has come to DC, but vote for a vision, a vision of unity, a vision of making it so that everyone can attain the American dream. Nine more days, and these nine days, we will decide if we go backwards or if we continue moving forward. I want to move forward. Our future is at stake. Our country is at stake. President Obama has been there for us. So now I'm asking you to be there for him. We are the 47%. You know what Governor Romney thinks of us. Let's show him that we want to keep moving forward with the right vision and the right president, Barack Obama.